Hello and welcome to FT Plus Academy for Civil Services, your one-stop solution for your dream career. Uh, on the first day, we have discussed about the organs of the government and we have uh, learned that the lawmaking powers rest with the parliament in case of the pan-India basis and for the state legislature for the concerned states. Fine. So today, our topic of discussion is Article 21. Why this Article 21 I have chosen? Okay, reason is that this article is one of the simplest looking article, but at the same time, the most evolved article. Okay, so if we look into the text of the article, no person shall be deprived of his life or personal liberty except by procedure established by law. Okay, so Article 21 is the simplest looking article, but at the same time, the most evolved. Why? Reason is that this article has been termed by Supreme Court as the backbone of the fundamental rights. Fine. Now, here we have to look into the few aspects of this article. First of all, the word no person, it indicates both citizens as well as foreigners okay because as we all know most of us know that fundamental rights are available both for the citizens as well as the foreigners but there are specific five fundamental rights which are available only for the citizens article 15 16 article 19 29 and 30 so article 21 it talks about no person which means that it is available for the citizens as well as the foreigners fine now, this article states that no person shall be deprived okay, of his life or personal liberty except by procedure established by law. Fine. Our point of discussion is this procedure established by law. Right. This procedure established by law, this doctrine has been taken from the Japanese constitution. Post World War II Japanese constitution, the phrase or the doctrine procedure established by law was there. And we have uh, borrowed the concept of procedure established by law mainly from the Japanese constitution. Though some procedure established by law has been also uh, has also been borrowed from the UK. Fine. Now, procedure established by law. What is Procedure established by law. Fine. First of all, you have to uh, understand one basic thing that whenever our life or personal liberty uh, will be hampered by the state, okay? State does not mean the state government. State, it, the definition of state is included in Article 12 as well as Article 36 of the Indian Constitution. Okay, so the moment our life or personal liberty will be uh, snatched away from us by the state, we will definitely approach the court. Fine. The moment we will approach the court, court will look into few basic things. Okay, first one is whether there is a law. Number two, whether the law is valid. Number three, has the procedure been followed? Okay. Now, the moment our liberty or life, let's take the example of liberty at first. Okay. It's better to understand from the perspective of liberty. Suppose a person has been arrested. 
fine the moment that person will be arrested some else will uh, approach the judiciary on his behalf because as we all know there is the writ of habeas corpus no person shall be detained without any reason or without any law okay so the moment x person is arrested uh, some else uh, somebody else will approach the judiciary on his behalf now judiciary will look into the first question whether there is a law or not on which that person is arrested kono byakti ke jodi arrest kora hoy ekta arrested example amra bojhar chesta korchi okay kono byakti ke dhoro arrest kora holo to naturally she arrested against a judiciary te jawa hobe the first thing the first test judiciary will do is judiciary will see whether there is a law or not that means without law look into the article okay except by procedure established by law okay this is what we are studying right so first question what judiciary will see whether there is a, a law or not if there is no law then that person will be set free that means without any law no person can be arrested fine may it be preventive we have seen in article 22 also we will see into the later classes also okay the second question whether the law is valid or not which means whether the law is obsolete or not has the law become obsolete okay or not that will also be seen by the judiciary so the second question or the second test which the judiciary will do is to question or to validate the law prothom je question ta dekhbe je adeu ei rokom kono ain ache kina jar upore arrest kora hoyeche jodi prothom question i supreme court bujhe jay je na eta arbitrary arrest hoyeche kono rokome law nei that person will be set free fine but jodi ekta law thaklo arrest howar pichone there is a law fine now the second question will be seen by the judiciary ki whether the law is valid or not okay ain ta adeu boidho ain ki na boidho in the sense emon onek law arche jeta kina obsolete hoye geche taking the example of uh, partial uh, uh, jeta ke bole tomar uh, discrimination uh, i mean to say decriminalization of uh, same sex okay section 377 will come to it in the later classes okay now kono byakti ke je law te arrest kora hoyeche she law ta adeu valid kina this is the second question which the judiciary will see fine now if even this question is also yes okay now judiciary will see the third question has the procedure been followed that means the arrest okay or the detention the whether that procedure has been followed as per the law or not okay so if the three questions are answered positively okay to the judiciary judiciary will allow the continuance of the arrest or the detention fine that means in the procedure established by law amra arrest er example keno nilam karon article er moddhe ki ache personal liberty je moment e kono ekjon byakti ke arrest kora hocche tar personal liberty violated hocche so naturally judiciary te jabe judiciary jokhon ei basic tin te question ke dekhto that is procedure established by law under the concept of procedure established by law these were the three questions which were uh, matlab which were uh, actually seen by judiciary the first case was the ak gopalan case ak gopalan case okay in this case also ak gopalan who was a communist leader was arrested okay naturally he approached the judiciary he was arrested under preventive detention he approached the judiciary judiciary looked after the three questions ki whether there is a law whether the law is valid has the procedure been followed fine so naturally in this ak gopalan case supreme court took a narrow uh, view or a restrictive interpretation of the procedure established by law that means supreme court while uh, defining the concept of procedure established by law supreme court was only seeing the uh, role of the executive okay executive er je role ta ache shudhumatro shudhu sei jayga ta thi supreme court uh, look after korto fine next case that is adm jabalpur case okay which is also called as habis corpus case okay amra eglo sob class e korechi ba korbo okay habis corpus case okay ekhaneo kintu jeta hoyechilo even during emergency habis corpus was uh, not allowed fine to ekhaneo kintu supreme court jeta bolechilo the moment misa actually maintenance of internal security act tar upor base kore ei adm jabalpur case ta hoyechilo okay 
তো আমি এই ব্রিফ ডিসকাশনের মধ্যে কেস ডিটেলসে যাচ্ছি না বাট জাস্ট ফর কানেক্টিং দ্য থিংস একটু নামগুলোকে মাথায় রাখবে তো এই এডিএম জব্বলপুর কেসে কিন্তু যখন কেসটা সুপ্রিম কোর্টে গেল সুপ্রিম কোর্ট কিন্তু যেটা বললো যে না দের ইজ আ ল ন্যাচারাল ব্যাপার সেখানে কিছু করার নেই ডিউরিং দিস মিসা বা ডিউরিং এমার্জেন্সি বা আন্ডার দিস মিসা এক্ট আ পার্সন ক্যান বি অ্যারেস্টেড অ্যান্ড দ্য রেট অফ হেভিস কর্পাস ইজ নট অ্যাপ্লাইড ফাইন বাট দ্য ফেমাস কেস মনিকা গান্ধি কেস দ্যাট ইজ ফ্রম দিস কেস অনওয়ার্ডস সুপ্রিম কোর্ট ব্রড এন্ড দ্য স্কোপ অফ প্রসিজার এস্টাবলিশ বাই ল অ্যান্ড ইনক্লুডেড ডিউ প্রসেস অফ ল ডিউ প্রসেস অফ ল ওকে সো ডিউ প্রসেস অফ ল ইজ আ কনসেপ্ট হুইচ ইজ টেকেন ফ্রম ইউএসএ ওকে ইন ইউএসএ দ্য জুডিশিয়ারি হ্যাজ দ্য পাওয়ার টু রিভিউ দ্য লজ the power of judicial review is also in the indian constitution but the procedure established by law in article 21 the procedure established by law the supreme court khub narrow review korte parto restrictive review korte parto that means supreme court shudhumatro intention of the executive ke review korte parto ba supreme court shudhumatro executive er kaj karmo ke restrict korte parto ba review korte parto okay but in this due process of law which is otherwise applied in the usa ekhane jeta kora hoy the fourth test is also done okay ekhane amra 1 2 3 test dekhechi so in the due process of law the fourth test is also done now here it is done what is seen whether the law is fair reasonable or just that means in this due process of law what supreme court is doing supreme court is checking the arbitrariness of the legislature also okay that means এর আগে দেখো প্রসিজার এস্টাবলিশ বাই ল তে কিন্তু সুপ্রিম কোর্ট শুধুমাত্র এক্সিকিউটিভ এর আর্বিট্রেরিস কে চেক করতো বাট ইন দিস ডিউ প্রসেস অফ ল সুপ্রিম কোর্ট কিন্তু ওয়েন্ট আহেড ওকে আ ব্রডার ইন্টারপ্রিটেশন অফ আর্টিকেল টোয়েন্টি ওয়ান ওয়াজ মেড বাই সুপ্রিম কোর্ট ইন দিস মনিকা গান্ধী কেস অ্যান্ড ইট ওয়াজ ডিক্লেয়ার দ্যাট ইন ইন্ডিয়া দ্য জুডিশিয়াল দ্য প্রসিজার এস্টাবলিশ বাই ল অলসো ইনক্লুডস ডিউ প্রসেস অফ ল হুইচ মিনস ফ্রম নাইনটিন সেভেন্টি Supreme Court went into checking the intention of the law also. Okay. Now, Supreme Court looks that whether the law through which our personal life or liberty has been violated, okay, whether that law is fair, reasonable or just. This is what we called as the due process of law. Fine. Because in due process of law, the principle of natural justice is also followed. Okay. Out of, out of the three major principles of natural justice, the one being no person shall be punished without giving him uh, without uh, giving him uh, giving him a hearing fine okay that means kono byakti ke mane the judiciary will look into both the sides ekta side dekhe hobe na khyal kore dekho in this uh, ak gopalan case ak gopalan er side ta kintu view kora hoyni ak gopalan was uh, arrested on the preventive detention act fine and uh, the views of ak gopalan but the opinion of the ak gopalan was not looked by the judiciary fine but in this uh, due process of law the arbitrariness of the legislature will also be seen it will also be checked by the judiciary okay ki je law er upor base kore tumi karo kono byaktir personal life or liberty ke tumi violate korcho okay sei law ta ado valid kina sei law ta ado valid in the sense sei law ta ado fair kina reasonable kina just kina that means in the due process of law supreme court checks the arbitrariness of not only the executive but also about the legislature also fine so again at the question asked the pare je during the commencement of the constitution but since the inception of the constitution why haven't we adopted the concept of due process of law fine so naturally there were two uh you can say uh there are there are two opinions why we haven't adopted the due process of law then uh first being 
challenge of non elected to the elected okay and number 2 judiciary will be overburdened okay so these were the two reasons why we have not and do bhr ambedkar talked about this uh, due process of law okay but these were the two reasons for which we have not adopted the concept of by the language due process of law reason ekane ekto age amra ki dekhlam in this due process of law what who is checking actually judiciary is checking checking what checking the arbitrariness of the legislature legislature means the persons who are elected the democratically elected people they are making the laws for us okay they are making the laws but those laws are checked or to the I mean, for that matter uh, declared unconstitutional by whom by the non elected non elected means the judges in india the judges are not elected they are appointed they are appointed by the president definitely they are appointed by the president but uh, on the basis of the recommendations given by the collegium we will come into the judiciary section okay so it's a direct challenge to the uh, of the non elected to the elected so this was the reason why this due process of law was not adopted the second reason was that judiciary will be overburdened okay reason joto beshi cases due process of law er under e jabe review er jonno jabe supreme court or for that matter high court also will be overburdened with number of cases okay so these were the primary two reasons why we have not adopted the concept of due process of law okay are koyekta jinish matha rakhbe article 14 19 and 21 has been called as golden triangle why this has been called as golden triangle we will study in the later classes through respective judgments okay and at the same time you have to remember one more thing article 21 is the most evolved constitution the concept of right to life in article 21 has been expanded by supreme court in n number of cases okay so maybe article 21 is the uh, simplest looking article but it has given it has been given a wider connotation by the supreme court in multiple judgments okay so this was all about a brief discussion about the difference between the procedure established by law and uh, due process of law and a short discussion about uh, article 21 we will come to uh, in the later classes with uh, some other topics for discussions okay thank you